Oh, friends. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. Like, it feels like a movie set. <laughs> Boom. Gorgeous.
looking quiet because everybody's sleeping. It's super late at night. <laughs> I finally made it. I'm in South Carolina at my cousin's house, but I got in extra late. My uh, my connecting flight was delayed by more than two hours and they switched the gate like three or four times and it was so confusing, but I just like kind of buckled down with my laptop. I watched a lot of episodes of Boys Over Flowers, which I'm so obsessed with right now. I've seen the show like probably two times, but it's just like a comfort show for me. But then I also edited um, an upcoming YouTube video, my feminine hair video for a bit. So I got some work done. It was kind of nice. Like I felt really kind of just like, I don't know, like melancholy, kind of sad, which I didn't expect because I was like really excited for this trip, for this vacation. Um, but then just like saying goodbye to the boys, like seeing Bodhi like, bye bye mama. It just like tore my heart in half. Like I, I've been away from them for short trips um, a couple times, but every time I do that, I'm with my husband. So something about like, not being with the boys and also not being with my husband for the first time and since like I conceived my oldest son like it's just crazy and I, I don't know it feels like something's missing like I feel like like my arm is missing like it's really really weird so the relief I felt when I saw my cousin <laughs> like when I saw Michaela I, like after getting my suitcase and she like just you know family comfort piece like she was the one who came to stay with me when I was on bed rest um in my pregnancy with Troy and she also came after my c-section and she was also the one who like took care of Bodhi while we were in the hospital for Troy she stayed with me six weeks when I was postpartum like such a vulnerable time like name a more vulnerable time than postpartum you can't and she was just there with me through it all and i've just like deeply missed her she visits a lot i visit her a lot i've never been on a girl's trip before like as a full-blown adult with money <laughs> you know what I mean? so i brought like heels and purses and sun hats because i was like I just want to feel like this old 28 year old woman that I am. We're gonna eat a lot of food. It's supposed to rain. <laughs> like, of course I book a vacation and it's like to somewhere warm, get escaping Michigan. And then it like thunderstorms the whole time, but it doesn't even matter. Like, I'm just so happy to see her. We just got talking and like, we had to shut it down. We were like, we have five days pace yourself you can catch up <laughs> so she went to bed i have to still take my makeup off maybe i will be less sad about it all in the morning we will see anyways see you in the morning
Is that my girl? <laughs> We're like all revived now. We started like lost, forlorn, cold, had to pee, hungry, <laughs> thirsty. <laughs> And then we found some refuge. So now we're just like walking around. It's beautiful. <laughs> There's a black dress. <laughs> Stunning. Well, part of why it's so pretty is like their presentation. Yes. There's a forlorn man. Just <laughs> wow. Yeah, we. I, I should pull up that vlog tonight and we should see what they did. It does. It totally does. <laughs> in for the hotel it's really pretty here like the weather is nice everyone's dressed like really colorfully more dresses on the street than any other American city I've ever seen it's like kind of fascinating honestly so I'm excited to wear maybe a dress tomorrow but look at this beautiful
dragging Michaela around the resort. She doesn't want to be here. She wants to come cuddle in the room. <laughs> but I spotted a bonfire and no one's around it. And there's like, of course, like yelling teenagers is always like a little intimidating, but we're old. We're almost 30, <laughs> so we deserve to be here. <laughs> it's pretty cool though. Micro celery is on there. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, along with the three say palmetto acai bowl, which has lots of yummy stuff in it. Uh, fresh herb omelet, eggs, additional toppings for two dollars. <laughs> Love Shack friends, he's haunting you. I'm gonna have to keep that audio in the vlog. <laughs> Michaela, I don't know if we caught in the vlog. Michaela just told me she had a bad dream last night <laughs> that we were going to brunch and she had to, like, her outfits weren't working. And so I was offering her my clothes, but the only clothes I had were from Love Shack Fancy. <laughs> <laughs> And it was like a nightmare. Because <laughs> we did a room tumor in the afternoon, but it's like even prettier with the sunrise. Wow. Okay, there we go, friends. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> America. That's what I love about America. They have warm places like this. It's 100% a fact. Oh, it's like kind of bright. Hello, good morning. We had a bit of a crisis with the iron. It was like dirty and not very nice, which is the only bad thing so far I have to say about this hotel. We have been expecting rain for weeks now, but it's like sunny and gorgeous. So we planned some rainy day activities and I made this reservation for brunch, but now it's sunny and I'm like, we could have just like sat by the pool, but whatever, we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna get to see downtown Charleston again. And I'll show you what I'm wearing. So I almost wasn't even gonna wear this dress, but after walking around yesterday and seeing like what other people are wearing, like this is a very normal kind of outfit for down here, which is kind of crazy. I think I'm gonna wear like maybe a pink purse um, cause it's like brunch, it's the morning. So something a little brighter. Like last night I did a dark bag cause it was more like dinner time. dress before in a vlog I wore it um, my anniversary vlog I wore it in teal you guys can go back and look at that vlog because when I was showing you my dinner outfit for that vlog I was already like pregnant with Troy but I was keeping the secret from you guys so when I turned to the side in that vlog to like show you my dress my belly because I had a very pregnant belly at the time and it was almost like out here and I had to pull it in like this and I like quick flash to the side of my dress because I, I like wasn't ready to share my pregnancy news but that night I was like looking really pregnant and I was pregnant in that vlog but you guys you, you didn't know yet it wasn't time it wasn't time to tell the public but yeah i love this dress i have it in three colors um if they're still selling it i'll link it below but i don't think they are it's just like a fast fashion online dress but i've worn them countless times
Dude, Didn't like, you drink all that water? Yeah, but my tongue is so dry right now. Are you serious? Yeah. Drink because I will. So what is that? The cream? The cream. They should cheers that coffee. Yes. We haven't even cheers one of our drinks <laughs> oh, yet. <no. laughs> Clocking us, he's like, I know you want to pet me. No, it's it. wearing like a lily silk blouse as a cover-up remember when I put that in one of my videos it's it's working perfectly out on the pier <laughs> it's just been like the perfect day I was whining all yesterday in the vlog like it's gonna be rainy it's gonna be a rainy but we're gonna make it fun we're gonna go to museums and then it's been just like the perfect afternoon and right when it rains, like we're ready to go inside anyways. Um, and I also wanted to read by the pool. That was like my number one thing I said to my husband I wanted to do on vacation. I just want to read by a, a pool. Like it doesn't have to be anything crazy. Just want to read by a pool. And I get by a pool and all I want to do is like edit photos and talk <laughs> to <laughs> my, my darling cousin. So maybe I'll read by the pool tomorrow, but we are gonna get ready, gonna head to dinner. This is the hairstyle. Oh dear. It's really pretty. It's super cute. Lovers. <laughs> a horrible angle, but I'm trying to be discreet because I'm at a restaurant. 
Vlog smells. Here we go. We have a flower expert. She's figured it out. It smells like lilacs, like all throughout downtown Charleston. So pretty. And I said too, I don't know if I got on camera, but I wish I could vlog smells. I wish you guys could smell this. Like it must be something about the spring. I think all the lilacs are blooming. <laughs> we met some sweet girls from the universe. No, we're from Maine. They, they're friends. We sat beside each other in the shuttle and they were so sweet. We found out they were in college and we were just like asking them so many questions. We were probably like scaring them a little because we kept being like, wow, what are you studying? Where are you going? Like, just like so happy to talk to new people. Um, but they're so cute. They're going to be at the pool tomorrow. So maybe we'll see them. Make some friends on this vacation. But now we're just ready to veg. Thankfully, no blisters. We walked so far. Oh, I didn't even film it. We got chocolate ice cream. Oh, shoot. Sorry. <laughs> we got chocolate ice cream. We came all the way to Charleston just to have ice cream called Michigan Pothole. <laughs> and it was worth it. Like, I do not regret it at all. <laughs> Reminds me of when we were little. Um, I would always be the one up, like when we'd have sleepovers and when I'd go stay at her house in the summer or for Christmas or whatever, I would always be the one up. Every single vacation vlog, you guys might notice this, I cannot sleep in. Like I cannot sleep in on vacation. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm excited. Maybe like it's just being in an unfamiliar place, but I slept really well last night. <laughs> I run really hot and she runs really cold, probably because like she lives in the south. I live in the north, but that's also just like how we are. So we were having like major temperature problems um, the first night. Like I was sweating all night, like, ugh, just like so gross. Um, but last night it was the perfect temperature. Unexpected bad weather, but the forecast looks like it's gonna clear up. So I think we'll still get our beach, beach day, hopefully. <laughs> I'm not gonna think about it. I'm just gonna like focus on coffee. What do you think? Cuffed casual flowy pant. Um, my theory is that hats are like dresses so they look so high maintenance they look like you put in so much effort but really you're just hiding like greasy hair underneath and so and that's kind of why i wear dresses because it's like i don't feel like putting together an outfit um so this is like what we're going for with casual we got this like kind of 
it has that same detail that that green top had. I feel like this that's like a flattering style on me. I'm trying to wear more of that. Um, and then these pants are just like a unique low. I've had them for a long time and I have some like other versions of them too, but it's, it's called the U cut because you can see how it goes out and like back in. Um, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but it's like really nice for vacation. Like standing back here and bothering her and swaying back and forth while she does her makeup. <laughs> in my hat. <laughs> even though it's not even sunny out today. I've been driving because I like to drive and we're headed to the Publix and we just got waved at by an adorable baby. <laughs> it made me so excited. It was like, I said it was like a, <clears throat> it was like a celebrity sighting, like getting waved at by a baby. Maybe miss mine, but we also made it here. It was a treacherous drive. <laughs> so scary, but we survived. We just need aloe. crazy I went back to the room after I took a swim and I um, like did the heatless curls routine to the top we went to the gift shop um, got a drink we have a free drink token which is kind of cool and now we're just walking on the marina got wine and a special little treat for the boys <laughs> slash for myself this is cool Michaela's surviving she's been like out in the Sun all day Sun Queen aircraft carrier before like this it's kind of crazy like it feels like a movie set finished walking we are all sunned out which is a good feeling on vacation and I think we're gonna have a bit of a, our drink from the um, marina store make a game plan about dinner but soak up the last of this amazing Sun apparently it's supposed to thunderstorm so I don't know where that's gonna come from but I'm not gonna pretend that I don't believe it because <laughs> the weather changes fast but I put on this dress. Um, I wore this in a in my pregnancy announcement for Bodhi, um, and then I didn't fit this for like a couple years. So I'm happy to be back in it because it's such a versatile outfit, and it's just so summery. It feels like summer. It feels like spring. Spring, summer. I'm gonna go back to the cold. But yeah, it's just nice. And then unboxing time. I actually bought something. Okay, I bought this from the Marina store. And you're not going to be shocked. It's a Squishmallow Vibes parrot. And I've never seen, I've never seen one like this before. So I got this for one of the boys. I'm going to have to get a second gift. But question, is it more for me or is it for the boys? We'll never know. Are 
reason I like this parrot so much is because this like, I don't know, just the attention to detail. I was saying to Michaela, I was like, I'm not even gonna give this to the kids. I'm just gonna keep it. <laughs> Flaw slash quirk is that I love a plushie. I will never say no to a plushie. I've been this way my whole life. In second grade when we had show and tell, I brought in my plushie collection and I was so proud and I showed like the whole class my entire it wasn't just show and tell it was like collection show and tell and I brought in all my plushies and I was so proud and then some other girl like she came in and she had like every single TY ever made ever so of course like her collection was much more impressive but I will not deny that I just can't help but like collecting <laughs> really super cute things I didn't remember this until I made an Instagram post about it, but the reason I came on this trip, so <laughs> I was really against coming because my husband had taken a ski trip and, with his brother and it was like a week long ski vacation. And when he left, the kids started like throwing up and being really sick and it was horrible. So he felt really, really bad about that. And so he was like immediately like, I wanna send you to see Kea and Michaela because her husband's in the army. They've lived in Texas, North Carolina, now South Carolina. And so he was like, I want you to go spend time with Michaela. So I just desperately missed her. And so he coordinated with her. Like I was so against taking this trip because I didn't feel like, you, you guys know, like if you're a housewife, if you're a homemaker, you kind of feel guilty a little bit. Like I don't want to have my money like I don't want my husband to spend money on this unnecessary trip for me like we should save money or spend it on the kids instead um but he really insisted he was like I want to send you down I want you to have rest and relaxation and it wasn't like a tit for tat thing in our marriage like oh I took a vacation so you should take a vacation like he genuinely just wanted to bless me and also on my 2023 goals like one of my goals was to go and read books by the pool like and he knew I really wanted to do that and he like let me kind of choose the resort and I googled a bunch of airbnbs and like airbnbs are okay but I really wanted something like a resort I wanted something where we could have like access to amenities and this is so cool I didn't even realize we had access to walking this beautiful marina to see all these boats and yachts and seeing those like aircraft carrier and the destroyer and like there's restaurants here he booked the flights and he let me book the place and i almost wasn't gonna go like i was almost just gonna be like call it off like let's return the money blah 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 and then i talked to this woman who was like at church she has teenagers now i think her youngest child is maybe 10 and i was telling her about this quandary like my husband wants me to go on a vacation but i just feel like you know, he does so much for me and I don't know about spending money on something so frivolous just for me. And she looks me like dead in the eyes and she's like, you need to go. You need to get some rest, relaxation. It'll be so worth it. Book the trip. And I was like, okay, Nancy, like, thank you for the wise counsel. And I'm so glad. I'm so glad I came. And you guys have seen like throughout this vlog, like I'm having such a good time. So it's, you can tell it's humid. This is the postpartum hair regrowth. I'm gonna have to like straighten this and this is crazy and up here and like can you believe it or not like I've been walking around with like this hairstyle like who is she like am I not like uh aware of my appearance am I not elegant like what is happening it's embarrassing like <laughs> postpartum regrowth and curls bangs that are intentional look at this piece of the bang it's like stressed and like whatever it's supposed to thunderstorm we'll see but I'm gonna take this out, have a curly look, and then I'm gonna have this dress, and hopefully it all comes together. We're thinking of going to Rainbow Row, so hopefully that works out. It's like apparently this like colorful neighborhood. Um, as if you guys haven't seen enough footage of architecture. I'm sorry, I'm sorry if it's been too much architecture, but we're gonna hopefully resurrect this hair. But yeah, I have a lot of natural curl you can see here. I think if my hair was really short, it would be like curly, but because it's so long, it's heavy and it kind of stretches down. Promise you I'm not gonna go like out to dinner like this. Like, we're gonna bring it together. Also, the freckles have come out to play. That's how you know it's summer. 
um, the ones that sounded the best. The queen, the princess, let me do her makeup. And I literally just did what I do to my face onto her because I've been curious for months, years, and eternity about <laughs> what, like, I do if it would look good on her because we're related. And I just wanted to see Michaela with a lip liner. And I will show you my handiwork. Boom. Gorgeous. It's definitely more bold. And I love it. She looks so, so good. <laughs> yes. Yes. You look so good. Yes. This also makes me feel so validated because... Vlog, I go online all the time and I talk about beauty and I'm like, you guys should do this. You should lip line, you should blah, blah, blah. Look, I did it to somebody and she looks amazing. So yes. <laughs> take that as your, take it. Great. I know what I'm talking about. Recording for a while? Is that what you just said? No, just like five oh. seconds. This is the look, I wore it earlier. And I wore that dumb bun all afternoon and this is all the wave we got out of it. So keep that in mind when you're trying to do heatless curls, you kind of need to do it overnight. Okay, is wearing a stylish like yeah overalls and I think this goes I do think it flows it's artsy we don't know where we're going yet to dinner but we have to make the shuttle in two minutes Well, room, you did us good. I always feel so sad leaving a hotel room. We have checked out of the resort, but we're not leaving yet. <laughs> we're gonna soak every last like dime out of this like experience. Somehow we ended up with another blue sky day. It was forecast thunderstorm. I would almost say, don't even pay attention to the forecast when you're coming down to Charleston because apparently you're gonna get sun every day. Well, I think about you.
feeling so sad. I, at the coffee shop, I saw a mom or a nanny or somebody with a baby a bit younger than Troy. And I seriously like started wearing my sunglasses because like I started like tearing up um, <laughs> in the coffee shop. So I am back for it all began. I am in Michaela's guest room. I have to wake up at 3.45 in the morning to catch, to board a flight at 4.45, um, to land in Atlanta at 6.30 so I can have a connection flight and then I will be home to my babies. Um, I stopped vlogging for a bit this afternoon. We just drove home. We went shopping for a little bit and I'll show you what I, what I got. I got a really cool thing at TJ Maxx. <laughs> I bought this carry-on like luggage and I'm so glad I did because I need the extra space. But it's huge. There's like so many pockets. It came with a really nice like wallet kind of thing. I have room for all my stuff. And the thing is, back in Michigan, um, I was considering buying that bag. Like literally before the trip, I was at a TJ Maxx and I was like looking at that bag, but it was like a different color and I was heavily considering getting it. Um, and then today I decided I wanted to get like a real kind of carry on tote weekender bag. And when I saw that, I was like, I can't pass this up. It's just too perfect. So, um, I'm just ready to like stop my fingers and be back at, with them. Whereas like when we were busy and having fun and at the pool or relaxing, making memories, I could kind of like focus on our activities. Whereas now all the activities are over. So I'm just like ready to go back to them. And I just like, I miss them so much. And I'm really glad for that. Like it was so hard coming on this trip in a lot of ways, but I knew I really needed it. It's like just the double pregnancies. And even before that, I just had like, I don't know, there's been like the lockdowns. I just feel like I haven't unwound on a trip like that in a really, really long time. Uh, and it was just so nice to do that. Like so nice to make memories um, with my cousin. She's like not my sister, but she's like my sister, if you know what I mean. I don't know if any of you have that with anybody where it's like your you're like a best friend or a cousin um who's like your sister because that's kind of what it was like it was just the best week maybe that's also why I feel sad because I don't know the next time I'm gonna see her I don't know the next time like it's just it's hard to get away with kids it's hard to travel with kids it's hard to drive like 10 12 hours with kids and like that's how far away she lives in a car it's hard to fly like I don't know when I'm going to see her again. And it's just like makes me kind of sad. Like thankfully, like they haven't had their kids yet. So I'm like not missing out on any niece and nephew time. But when that happens, I think I'm going to like, I'm just going to like come down and live in her guest room so I can see the baby. Her mom is um, like my kid's Gigi. And like me and Gigi are always talking about her and how much we miss her and stuff. I'm so glad though I came on this trip because I'd rather be feeling all of these emotions right now than just gone through like another normal week in my life like I'm ready to go back see my husband it's, it was so good to make these memories and you know what guys I definitely am going to be coming back to this resort like I loved every single second of it it was worth every penny and like I'm just trying to focus on that I'm trying to focus on the future like be my gratitudes just so grateful that like this all worked out and God gave us just the best weather, best experiences. Every single restaurant I would go back to. Sorry, I'm talking quiet. Like they're kind of having their time right now. And yeah, but I just, I feel sad. <laughs> I'm sure I'll check in tomorrow and you'll see me get me with the kids. But if you're really curious, like what this, what it looks like when I'm sad, this is what it is. I just feel low energy. Like, I'm going to cry. My eyes are stinging right now. My nose is stinging. So I think um, I'm going to read and watch Boys Over Flowers. <laughs> it's like 2009 K-drama. Like, the most basic K-drama anybody could ever love. But it's like my comfort show. So I'm going to watch that. 
kind of unwind and the good news is i actually do feel really tired <laughs> so hopefully i can fall asleep early if you don't know this your girl is a night owl so going to bed before 10 it's going to be really hard but i'm going to have to do it so anyways thanks for talking to me i'm sure i'll feel happier tomorrow when i see my babies i really miss them